Welcome back to the final leg. So we just saw the Zurich Inspiration Games cap off a bunch of three versus three matchups going on on multiple venues across the world. Some great matchups and some off distance events, but we're going to jump into things. First off, Allison Felix versus Shawnee Miller Weibo versus Mujinga Kumbunji in that women's 150 meter dash. This was a great race. Again, it was in different venues across the world. So we saw a three versus three split screen, but Allison Felix took the win very comfortable actually in 16.81 seconds. Shawnee Miller Weibo was second place in 17.15, while Mujinga Kumbunji came up for third in 17.28 seconds. This is some great performances that we've seen. Of course, Allison Felix coming back from childbirth in 2018 made the mixed relay team and the 4x4 in 2019. She's run much faster even just last year in 2019, but I think this shows that she's still in some good form. Shawnee Miller Weibo, she's just coming off the 400 and 200 she ran just a couple days ago. So great performances by all these ladies in the 150 meter dash. Speaking of Allison Felix, we saw her in the 3 by 100 meter relay, an event I've never seen before in my life, but she joined together with Tiana Bartoletta and Candice Hill, took the win, very comfortable over the Netherlands and Switzerland. Again, a very off-distance event, but again, it shows that Allison Felix, she's still in some good form. Hopefully, this is going to translate to something fast for her to potentially make the team to Tokyo next year. Now, let's head over to the men's 200 meters. We saw an amazing, really surprising result here. Noah Lyles against Christophe Lumet against Trandy Martin. Tina. Of course, Noah Lyles was the man to watch here. He got out of blocks extremely fast, went around the curve, entered that straight, and dominated down the straight. When he crossed the line, the time stopped at 18.90 seconds. When I looked at that time, I was like, what is going on? There's no way that in the middle of a pandemic and in the circumstances that he broke Usain Bolt's world record by two tenths of a second. But we later found out that he unfortunately started a little ahead of 200 meters at about 185 meters. So not full 200 meters, couldn't account the time. Of course, anybody who saw that time would have been like, what is going on? But I think this is still a great performance. If it was 200 meters, he likely would have gone under 20 seconds no matter what. And he also had a headwind of negative 3.7 meters per second. So this shows that Noah Lyles is in extremely great form. We just saw him run that 9.93 seconds just a couple days ago as well. So he's showing that this pandemic is not stopping him from doing some great training. And he's still looking like the clear favorite going into Tokyo 2020 next year. Now let's keep it in the sprints here, this time in the 100 yard dash. Not 100 meters, 100 yard dash. Here we saw Andre de Grasse, Jimmy Vico, and Omar McLeod all running on the same track since they're training partners. But unfortunately, there was a huge hand with negative 3.4 meters per second. So it slowed down the time significantly. De Grasse took the win in 9.68 seconds. Vico was second in 9.72. And Omar McLeod was third in 9.87 seconds. So great performances. Again, 100 yards. We don't see this very often, but still great to see these guys get out on the track here. Now, heading over to the hurdles, we saw the women's 300 meter hurdle event contested across the world here. Georgia and Malines, Susanna Hedgenova, the two time world champion, as well as Leah Sprunger. These three ladies were going at it. Georgia and Malines coming off of surgery just a couple months ago. She took the clear win here in 39.08 seconds. Hedgenova was way, way behind in 40.97 seconds, so almost two full seconds behind. And then Leah Sprunger came up for third in 39.25 seconds. So great performances by all these ladies. Again, 300 meter hurdles, kind of off run event. A lot of high schoolers, of course, run it in the United States, but great performances from these ladies. Now, let's finish off with some field events. The men's triple jump, an actually really high quality field. Christian Taylor, Pedro Pablo Picardo, and then also Omar Craddock were going at it here. Picardo got out to a huge lead in 17.40 meters. This shows that he's in some really great form competing out in his home country of Portugal. We also saw Christian Taylor. He came up for second place in 17.27 meters on his final jump of the competition. Finally, Omar Craddock, he got out to 17.04 meters he looked kind of frustrated through the competition but i think overall this is a great performance for all these guys we're going to see them go into the olympic year hopefully staying consistent with some great form ready to put on some great performances there in the pole vault we had a great competition for the men sam kendricks going up against peter Lise. kendricks got the win pretty comfortably with 5.81 meters took a couple jumps higher than that but unfortunately couldn't make it he had a lot of win in his stadium as well peter Lise, he got second place in 5.66 meters 
meters. I was actually a little surprised by this. These guys really got out to some great heights. They stayed pretty consistent throughout the competition. So great pole vaulting from these guys here. Finally, we saw the women's pole vault. Here was a very clear win for Sandy Morris from the United States, taking the win in 4.66 meters. Just like Sam Kendricks, he tried to go a little bit higher. Unfortunately, couldn't get any heights above that. So great performance from Sandy Morris in that women's pole vault. All right, so those are the Zurich Inspiration Games. Of course, a little different than what we expect. Everyone had to be in different stadiums, but I think this is a good indication of where people are at, even though there was different conditions, different winds, some rain in different stadiums. Keep a lookout for some of the other performances and some of the other meets coming down the pipeline for the next couple months. And then, of course, 2021, we're going to hopefully see the Olympics going down in Tokyo. So make sure you guys go in the comments below. Let me know what your favorite performance from these Zurich Inspiration Games were. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll be back again next time. Thanks.